Hey guys, so it is our last Art Snacks versus Sketchbox of the year. Perhaps our last Art Snacks versus Sketchbox forever. And I know some of you have expressed distress that I am ending this series. If you would like to see it continue, there are two ways you can do that. You can write to Art Snacks or to Sketchbox or to both and let them know how much you enjoy my honest, thorough, and sometimes a little scathing reviews. They are aware of my existence, but they need to hear from you that you appreciate my content. The second way you can do it is through my Patreon. I'm going to be revamping all of my Patreon tiers to better suit my community in 2017. And one of the goals I'm offering at the lofty $1,000 a month community goal, that means if everyone contributed two bucks, we could hit that real quick, the lofty thousand dollar community goal is that I will continue these reviews. I am not necessarily sad to see this series go, but I know many of you guys are. So let's go ahead and get started with our last unboxing of 2016. And let's start with Sketchbox. It has this lovely rose by Tara Lynn made with their October box. And Tara Lynn's Instagram is Tara underscore art underscore Lynn. You can find more at www.taralynntattoo.inc and Tara Lynn's Facebook is facebook.com slash Tara Lynn artist. So if you guys like this art, you guys could check out her work. I do make it a point to always read out the artist information because that is often the only way with Sketchbox those artists receive any sort of fair compensation. So I'm not going to cheat them of that. All right, so opening this box, we see a whole lot of stuff for my cat to choke to death on. Uh, I love that they include that. A very cute little box of four Zig Clean colors, and I think these are all colors I actually own. Um, a double-sided Kuratake brush pin. I think I reviewed that over on the blog at matosoup.blogspot.com. A Pintel Touch sign pin and I received one of these in last month's Art Snacks. It really seems like Art Snacks sends stuff first and then Sketchbox sends the same product. Ooh, and the Higgins Black Magic India Ink Marker. And I've actually wanted to test this for a while, but I hate Higgins, so I didn't want to pay for it. So, I mean, I technically paid for it because I paid for this box, but I didn't go to a store and pick it out and pay for it. So I didn't, I didn't do that, right? I don't know. Plus we've got two cards. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at the goodies inside of our December Art Snacks, last Art Snacks, guys. Oh, and inside there is a tiny candy cane that looks like someone already ate half of it. A box of Karen Dosh Discovery, super color soft, plus a blender. That's pretty cool, actually. A sticker, the card, which I'll read you guys later and this teeny tiny little package, which feels like a pen and a pencil. Let's see how good I've gotten at predicting these. Oh, wow, another Higgins Black Magic pen. Wow, wee, good grief. Really? Seriously, guys, really? Great. They look different. Maybe they're different. Okay. All right. So they are different. Okay. One is their black magic and one is their India ink. So I know I expressed extreme sarcasm a minute before. And if they had sent me the same product, I would have been extremely sarcastic, but apparently they are slightly different. So we get to explore why that's cool. I love head to head comparisons for this channel. We also received one Stabilo 0.88. So we're going to go ahead I and mean, grab a photo for the blog. I ought to throw myself a little party for having done 12 of these because I sure deserve it. Um, I'm going to start now with the Art Snacks cards. Here's what's on the menu for December. Which colors make artists feel good about themselves? And you guys will find out on the back. Karen Dosh Discovery Set. 
1708 Retail, Limited Edition. The Karen Dosh Discovery Set is not sold on its own, but this month, Art Snackers get special access to this exclusive set. It includes five colored pencils and one full blender bright, an oil wax medium that is used for blending and burnishing. Use it right out of the box or sharpen it and try blending it with a point. The bright, soft colored pencils are also water soluble. Just use a wet brush to create a watercolor wash effect. Oh, hey guys, guess what I didn't get? Yo, Art Snacks, you forgot the Magnesium Long Point Sharpener by Kuhn, $1.95 retail. It's important to get a sharp point on your pencil to get maximum control and performance. The Magnesium Long Point Sharpener by Kuhn, pronounced Kuhn, shaves off wood while also shaping the graphite core, all in one motion. This small, lightweight sharpener is a great addition to your art studio or travel art kit. And you know, guys, I really love Kuhn sharpeners. I have several in my studio, and it would have been super if I'd gotten the one I'd paid for. Higgins Black Magic Ink Pump Marker. New product, $5.95 retail. The Higgins Black Magic Ink Pump Marker lays down artist ink with ease and control. Black Magic, the, this brand's darkest ink, dries to a matte finish. The one millimeter nib de 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 delivers a bold, thick line. Give this marker a good shake before using. Stabilo .88 Fine Liner Marker Pen. 95 cents retail, staff favorite. The Stabilo .88 Fine Liner Marker Pen is made to last. The pin tip is encased in metal to extend the pen life, and this pin won't quickly dry out, out if the cap is left off, thanks to specially formulated ink. Stabilo produces this pen in 20 vibrant colors. Like this set from um, Sketchbox in, I wanna say, February? I might be wrong. Um, I don't know how many are in here. 25 brilliant colors, not 20 brilliant colors. Bump, bump. All right, so now we have a plug for Art Snacks' own brand, the Plumchester. And you guys have heard me make fun of that name quite a bit. In case you missed it, we've been working on our very own brand of art supplies called Plumchester. Our new brand will officially launch in 2017. Submit your email address at plumchester.com to be notified when it launches. Okay, so which colors make artists feel good about themselves? Complimentary colors. Take the Art Snacks Challenge. Use all the products in your box to create an original piece of art. Snap a picture of your artwork and share it on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram with the hashtag Art Snacks Challenge. Need help? Support at artsnacks.co, www.artsnacks.co. So I'm gonna be contacting Art Snacks about that missing long point sharpener. But let's move on over to the sketch box. Pull everything out once again. And I have also reviewed Touch Fude Pins, Pintel Touch Fude Pins over on the blog, natasuit.blogspot.com. I have reviewed over a dozen, in fact, more like three dozen Fude Pins in 2015. So if you are an inker or an artist who is interested in these sort of brush pins, you should check that out. I think I also reviewed this particular Kuratake over there as well. Okay, so got some lovely art. It's koi fish and a koi fish mermaid. Sketchbox December featured artist Hannah Hill. Hannah dislikes writing about herself, so here are a few facts. She's a self-taught natural artist. She grew up drawing Brian Froud and Cicely Marie Baker fairies. Her favorite art style is Art Nouveau. She has never worked with oil paints. Watercolors are her preferred medium. Her favorite color combination to use is green, purple, and pink. She has never completely filled an entire sketchbook. Her work is in, a pri in private collections all around the world. She is most likely to draw a fairy or a mermaid. Typically, she works in miniature art. Her favorite place to draw is in bed. She has a degree in geology, not art. Has recently been experimenting with new mediums, thanks to Sketchbox. Check her out on Instagram at S Hannah Hill, so like Shanna Hill, um, and it's Hannah with two N's and A and an H. DeviantArt, artbyhannah.deviantart.com, Etsy shop, Art by Hannah. We're so thankful for the talent that Hannah shared with us. If you'd like to get your art featured, email a sample of your work to us at info at getsketchbox.com. And that is Hannah's work, Hannah the self-taught artist. Sketchbox December Basic Box. Kuratake Zig Clean Color Real Brush Set. That is here. Retail price $13.95 and it's a staff favorite. 
This month is all about brush pens and markers. Unlike many brush pens, the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens have a genuine bristle tip that lets you create marks of any width, from broad strokes to fine lines. Filled with water-based dye that is odorless and xylene-free, these pens are easy to blend. Both portable and versatile, they are great for plain air work as well as manga and cartooning. And I have reviewed these over on the blog and here on this channel as part of my water-based marker series. So if you want to know what I think of these after rigorous testing, you should check that out. Kuretake Zig Brush number 55, retail price $4.50. This double-sided hard and soft felt tip brush pen uh, I am pretty dang sure the rubbery nib is nylon or foam rubber. Uh, you only review so many brush pins before you learn stuff like that. This double-sided hard and soft felt tip brush pin from Kurtaki delivers you the best of both worlds for your artwork. Great for outlining and coloring in art or creating different scenery effects. Higgins India Ink Pump Marker. New item! Retail price $5.95. Higgins India Ink like you've never seen it before. And a pump action marker! Ideal for use on papers and boards, Higgins Pump Markers deliver a water-resistant matte finish and have a one millimeter tip nib, I'm sorry, that can be removed for refilling. Pentel Fude Touch Brush Sign Pin Retail $2.99. Create expressive drawings and beautiful hand lettering with this felt tip Pentel Fude Touch Sign Pen. It features a durable brush tip that offers good control while drawing varying line widths. The water-based dry dye ink flows smoothly. This pen is a unique addition to any artist's arsenal. Again, I have reviewed those over at natosoup.blogspot.com. So if you're wondering what this artist thinks about that tool for, artist, for an artist's arsenal, you can check that out. Be sure to check out our shop for older boxes, past items, exclusive products, and more. www.getsketchbox.com slash shop. Have fun and remember to tag your art with, get, with sorry, Sketchbox December if you'd like to be included in our monthly contest. The winner gets their art printed on a future box lid. Wow! All right, guys, so is that really, where is that Higgins? Did I dump it in the wrong box? Yep, I did. All right, guys, so those are my Art Snacks December and my Art uh, Sketchbox Basic December 2016 boxes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video was made possible thanks to the generosity of my patrons on Patreon. My dear sweet art nerds who have invested in me, who believe in me, who enjoy my content, and want to ensure that others can enjoy it as well. Thank you guys so much. You're going to be getting this video before anybody else does. If that sounds good to you, or if you're feeling left out, you can join the community by heading over to patreon.com slash natosoup. If you enjoy my art, if you enjoy enjoy my content, if you enjoy seeing me at cons, heck, if you enjoyed those art sound offs I just finished, a great way to show your support is by joining the Patreon. If you guys enjoyed this video, you can also leave a like, that always helps a lot, or you can leave a comment, or you could do both. If you have a comment, question, concern, or even a criticism, go ahead and address me directly. I do read all comments. I don't always get a chance to respond, but I do read them all. Hey, I'm a YouTuber who reads her comments. What? Even when they're ugly. So yeah. So, um, you know, if you've got a question, I will try to answer it through the comments or with a response video, because that's a thing that I can do for you guys. If you are as obsessed with art supplies as I am, head on over to my blog, natosoup.blogspot.com, where I've been reviewing art supplies for seven years now, guys. Seven years. That's a long time. Seven years. Yeah. Um, and if you enjoy my art and you would like more of it, why don't you check out my comic, Seven Inch Kara? Volume one is available through my shop at natosoup.com slash Kara hyphen comic. And it is a beautiful watercolor story for all ages that I think you guys would really enjoy. Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for visiting my studio today. I hope you guys, if I don't see you before Christmas, or whatever winter holiday you choose to, to um, enjoy and participate in. If I don't see you before winter solstice, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful one. Stay safe, stay warm, don't blow your hand off with a firecracker. Um, I hope you guys get loads of art supplies for Christmas this year, because that's what every artist wants, right? And if you're looking for suggestions on what to give your fellow artists or what to request, I actually wrote an artist quality gift guide this year over on the blog that you ought to check out. So I will see 
see you guys again hopefully really soon but maybe not because i'm about to fly out of town so i'm becca hilburn from that of soup studios bye guys